Hi, my name is Lee McChristian, and I am a junior from Lincoln High. You know! And this piece is titled, The Birds. Don't think about it. It will all work out fine, you say. We need to fight terrorism, you say. That child was in Al-Qaeda, you proclaim. And I'm sure that you'd be saying the same thing if you were to find yourself bleeding to death but refusing to go to the hospital, knowing that at least if you stay where you are, you're far less likely to be struck with a missile fired in the, in the name of destroying terrorism because, let's be honest here, it's definitely not terrorism when we do it. If only you could imagine what it would be like to just be sitting there with a gentle breeze flowing by, just a Yemeni and his son, farmers enjoying the clear sky, talking about the years on coming harvest, watching the birds flying overhead, but you couldn't imagine that those were not golden winged grosbeaks hovering up high. Those winged majesties soaring through the blue sky are not migrating to cooler lands to escape the heat. They're cold enough already with the last images of hundreds of farmers, of children, their mortified faces imprinted into the hard drives, burned into the memory of the man sitting in that dark room with that drone trigger in his hand who keeps telling himself that this is all for the safety of his children, whom he can come home to at the end of the day all the while turning the sky, that same friendly blue sky which Western children frolic under into an Eastern archetype of death, far more powerful than the Reaper. But that's not the problem. Perhaps if it were supposed to be a problem, Soleil Kayed Taiman and his son would have been victims of murder, not neutralized militants. Maybe if I were supposed to care, I would have called them by their names in the first place, and not a Yemeni and his son. While well, somehow, even an American murderer is still a person with a name, with a family, we've allowed ourselves to turn a blind eye to the rest of the world for so long that we pray for Paris every time a bomb goes off there, but we just shrug our shoulders every time a child in a non-white country sees the wrong end of an AGM-114 hellfire before he can utter his first word. But when they fight back, they're the forces of pure evil. Even though all that they know is our metal bald eagles descending from the heavens with their eyes on their prey, while children who normally go out to play stay hidden indoors while their parents pray, until they hear the roar of a clear sky's thunder. The roar of one of the 26,171 bombs the U.S. dropped last year across Syria, Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Somalia, and Yemen. And even though only 34 of those fell on the ladder, to the 140 killed and 500 injured at a funeral, to the 14 killed at a wedding party, all of whose lives will never see justice, that does not matter. And yet you'll refuse to acknowledge this, even when the next 50 are blasted away here by some desperate soul who may not have even known Saleh Kayed Taiman, but who never failed to remember that on the 27th of January, just two years past, his son saw a bird, which was no bird fly overhead. And a heartbeat later, Muhammad Saleh Kayed Taiman, after 12 years of life, was dead.